Fire so, you patience, fam. Dark Slayer Arena here. So, uh, yeah, Ether Raids has been out for a couple of weeks now. And I just want to talk about the mode and my thoughts on it, things I like about it, things I do not like about it. Um, for the most part, I actually very much enjoy the mode. Um, I have very few criticism, criticisms of it, if any at all. Um, the only criticisms I would say to it are probably in regards to like matchmaking and um, scoring. Those are the only criticisms I would have in regards to this mode and how it functions. Um, yeah, scoring and... Well, not necessarily scoring, but how the ranks are calculated and things like that. So, my only issue with the ranking system is that, like, ranks carry over between seasons, if that makes sense. So, basically, if... You are, if you don't have this score right here, you can never be number one at this point. Because, you know, next season, they're going to still have that same score, and they're going to be building off of that score, and they're going to keep building up, etc., etc. Um, I'm not sure if it's like maybe like they have a season for like maybe like a month or something, and then they just sort of reset the whole score, and then, you know, it's like that every month, or maybe every two months, or whatever. Um, but if they, that's assuming they are going to be resetting the scores, but if it's just like this, where it's just, it carries over between each week, then that's kind of lame. So yeah, that's uh, my criticism of it, because, uh, basically if you make any mistake at any point, you're screwed. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's a complaint I would have, and criticism of it I would have. Um, matchmaking, I don't know how matchmaking is supposed to work in this, so it's just, I'm not sure if it's because it's in its early stages, so there, the teams and such aren't really spread out yet, but it's like, as it stands, it's like, there's really no telling the type of team you'll run up to, you can run into, like, a completely unbuilt four-star team, or you could run into a team of entirely 5 star plus 10 units, so, so it's like, that's pretty chaotic, pretty wild, um, yeah. I personally feel as though, like, BST and, like, levels shouldn't be taken into account for scoring purposes. I do, that's one of the changes that's, or well, I mean, not really a change. One of the things about this mode that I like the most is that I can use whoever I want. With, and I can use whoever I want, however I want to use them, and there's no issue whatsoever. However... I do think that matchups should be, like, built a bit more fairly so that people aren't getting steamrolled because they're running, like, their favorite infantry 5 stars and they get up matched up with plus 10 horse emblem and then they just get swept and stuff like that. Or, you know, basically, I don't think you should be put in a situation where you're matched up against units that your team can't beat. Now, I'm not saying that this has happened to me, but it's like, just by the nature of it, not really, they're not really, that. there doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reason to matchmaking in the game, so that's a criticism that I would have. Um, other than that, though, I very much enjoy the mode, it's pretty, what's that, let me just, just uh, um, as you can tell, I have not actually put much thought into this, I just sort of like, um, you know the auto setup, I just did that. <laughs> Um, maybe just throw one of those in the corner. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's one criticism that I would have. Um, ooh. Yeah, we wanna... Oh, actually no. Cause we want you... Hey. Yeah, we want... Then they get the home, home fire buff. Anyway! <laughs> I really like this, you get to like sort of like make your own little castle. Um, one of my absolute favorite things about this mode is uh, defense results. You can watch the replays. Oh snap, I gotta win. Let's see what happened actually. But like this is actually one of my favorite things about the mode is that you can watch the replay and see what happened. You see how you ended up winning, you get to see like what team they were using. Ooh, look, fun you got a few of them and it's like. Ooh, we got some legendary heroes. But you're no match for my flyer emblem. 
Uh, boy. In case you're wondering, this is like a pretty fair match because, like, as you can see, aside from Yoma, they're all unmerged. Uh, intro. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what they decide to do. They're being careful. I wonder if they just sort of like ran out of time. Okay, that's Mark. <laughs> oh, never mind. See, I would have lost to my own team. <laughs> And then, dang, she couldn't even kill Nino. That's depressing. Dang. <laughs> she was like, okay, I'm gonna bait Ryoma. And then Camilla came up was like, nah, fam. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, um, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on that. Um, I like the, like, the bonus unit thing. It's still kind of similar to what it is. Um... I do like that other free units, we get more free units being thrown into rotation. Um, like, yeah, that's just my general gist of it. Let me see what my fan, my friends, not a friend, rank 53. Is already? Ha, I'm above you, Ian and Marcus. Fish, take it out, fish! Get dunked on! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Take that, Crystal! I am above you! See, I, I wanna I wanna say stuff, but I'm not. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> Alright, so I'm doing pretty well. Um But yeah, um oh another thing is I like that you can make multiple raid parties. So it's like you can have like multiple arena teams and when you see the actual team that you're going to be fighting against then you can sort of pick which team you want so it's like let's say you have like a team you like but then bam you're up against their counter oh yeah just throw in your other team that is also built and then you're going to be Gucci so yeah yeah like pretty much the mode all in of itself is very enjoyable just um just some changes i would recommend to the scoring system and all that jazz but other than that it's a pretty great mode um it's very challenging it's <laughs> i have a lot of fun with it i might make a video uh maybe next week i'll make a video of like my runs towards it and yeah i really love the heroic growls feature because it will allow me to get my plus 10 joshua and also a plus 10 black knight so I'm gonna just like talk about this for a second. So the units I feel are going to be like in like the the common picks, I guess, for like the arena are probably de definitely gonna be Black Knight. Um, where is Halloween Valentine's Elliewood? Is he here? Is he not here? Oh snap! Is he not here? Oh wait, there he is. He's right there. But um, he's going to definitely be a pick because he actually has. Yeah, well, um, he has 175 BST, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if it's 100, it's, it's definitely above 170, but he's got really, really high BST. And, but the thing was, the only reason you didn't use him was because he couldn't be plus 10. But now he can be plus 10, so it's gonna be great. But yeah, I'm, people who wanted a plus 10 mark can finally get their plus 10 mark. I really am looking forward to getting my plus 10 Joshua. He's going to be a mainstay on my team no matter what, once that happens. Um, yeah. I'm not sure what next season's... Oh wait, are, they're the same arena bonus units as this week, so... I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick with Anna. I'm probably not. Um... That's the thing though, it's like I don't really have anybody else. <laughs> so I kinda gotta suck it up and just use Anna. Um I was thinking about building a Wendy, but I I just I'm not I don't care enough to invest into a Wendy and you know, spend all them feathers. I'd rather just, you know just use Anna. Cause she's she's built pretty well. It's just she won't be able to score high enough for me to really climb the tier, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. This was uh, supposed to be a video just on Ether Raid, and I sort of rambled on for a bit, but we're gonna ignore that. This is the Dark Slayer Reed from Hal Tessia Gaming. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like this video, share with your friends. You want to have me talk about something, have me do a video on something. I cover Fire Emblem Heroes, Dragon Ball Fighters, Blaze Blue. 
Um, I haven't gotten Soul Calibur 6 yet, but once I do, I'm going to be making videos on that as well. If there's something you want to see, leave a comment and let me know. And with all that, thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful day.